Hi there. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Baron No Beef Dip? I can't believe it took three episodes to get to this point, but here we go. Today, we're gonna build my house. And by we, I mean me, because I'm a control freak. Today, we can finally move out of this trash shack that I'm ashamed to admit I built. <sighs> she is my creation, I mustn't look upon her with disdain. And as always, the first step to building a home is where to build. So the first thing we do is craft a boat and venture out into the sea in search of greener lands. If you're not me. I don't have that kind of time on my hands, Brian. Creative mode is my preferred way to travel. I know this is kind of cheating, but it'd possibly take hours to find the right kind of land I'm looking for. Ain't nobody got time for that! Once a decade-old meme segues you to your optimal build location, you're free to begin building how you like. I like to start by picking out the blocks I want to primarily build with. Now here's where I begin laying out the frame or base shape of the build first so I know my boundaries, like we should with every relationship. Once you're done with that, you can fly up, if you're in creative mode, to see if it turned out okay. Oh. Never follow tutorials from a 13-year-old, people. It never ends well. And I wonder why I'm never sponsored. <laughs> After you make your descent and demolish the totally accidental schlong you've put into your build and correct it with the actual foundation, you may now commence with building up. And if for some ungodly reason you'd ever have to leave your house, I'd advise you to make a doorway. Now at this point, a lot of you might be thinking, but Steph, shouldn't you be using world edit? Well, I would if the mod didn't crash my game. I have no idea what happened in the past three months that made my computer's relationship with world edit turn toxic, but they ain't speaking to each other right now, leaving me with all the hard forking work. Welcome to Disappointment Central. Do you like how my computer Peter is having relationship problems and yet I've somehow found a way to make it about me. I'm the actual worst. But hey, this gives us ample time to have ourselves a little coffee talk. Also, I just realized we're like three minutes in and I haven't explained what I'm building yet. So most Minecraft YouTubers ask their viewers to give them ideas for their house, but... <laughs> So I kind of have to count on myself to find inspiration for my own forking house. I've also established a swearing filter for my videos. Do you like it? Is this family friendly enough content for you, Susan? Anyway, you know I have to build an Art Deco themed home. Of course, I am me. So I first looked at Google Images and was like, is this all there is? Where's the fun stuff? Where's the wacky quirky stuff that was super abstract in the 30s and 80s? Then I found Pinterest and oh my god! It's an absolute godsend, an endless smorgasbord of amazing selections of almost all kinds of things. It's insane! Whoops, <laughs> that, that's not mine. Who put that on my board? So I was scrolling and I found this absolute gem. And before you say anything, yes, I know it's a radio and not a house, but like, what if? This is Minecraft. Dang, that's a long name. Lived in a giant Totoro for a freaking year. Lauren Zside lived in a planet and later on a floating moon. Me living in a radio shouldn't be that big of a controversy, you know? By the way, have y'all heard about the new SpongeBob spinoff? I didn't until my dad saw an article or an ad online and told me about it. And honestly, I wasn't overly excited for it. Even my inner child was indifferent to this news. The moment I heard Patrick was getting his own show, I was like, I haven't heard about the Patrick Starfish show. I wonder what it's about. So I streamed the first few episodes and after it was all over, I was like, I have now seen the Patrick Starfish show. I wonder what it's about. Sadly, it's exactly what I expected and it was exactly what I envisioned. It was an absolute mess and not even a hot one either. The producers are trying to pull the harp strings of our childhoods by blowing a kazoo in the eardrums of our nerves. That's about all I want to say about the past the Gefilte Fish show. Nick, if by the off chance you're watching, first of all, get your asses back to work. Second of all, I am so sorry you're here. And third of all, one word. Sandy Cheeks Adventures. Seriously, people will forking flock to your network to watch that shirt. Come on. Where was I? Oh yeah, build tutorial. Once you're almost done with the basic design, look at what you've done so far and be disgusted with it. 
be horrified at the incongruity of the eaves of the decks, but then forgive yourself and fix them so they look symmetrical, and then continue on with your day. Next! To avoid gossip from the woodland onlookers mistaking your home for something risque in nature, you're going to want windows. Color and contrast is completely up to you. Now we want to make these little grill thingies on the bottom layer, like on the foundation. For this effect, I decided to use upside down stairs. Depending on how you want to build this, you may want to platform and raise your door by one block. If your Minecraft feet have some strange allergy to not touching wood, I would suggest adding a floor. The wood type can be of your choosing. Preferably the carpentry kind and not the kind you wake up with in the morning. I am using spruce planks as they look the most fitting in this texture pack. This is where we lay out the floor plan. <laughs> I have no plan. What's that? You're absolutely terrified of single floor houses? Bench, I got you fam. So here's where we start on the second floor, on the fourth block up. Next comes a ceiling. I mean, that's optional too. You guys don't have to have a ceiling. You're totally free to have an open skylight with all the weather and mobs, see if I care. But a roof is very much recommended. For the top lighting, I wanted to use sea lanterns. Mm, of course, the center one must be too layered to have that true Art Deco chandelier fashion. Now since I don't have 10 feet a leg, <laughs> at least not in Minecraft I don't, we'll want to install stairs leading up to the second floor. Or ladders if you're into that. And if you want to be extra ooh -la, la fancy, you can add plank blocks as makeshift banisters, giving your stairs the masterfully enclosed look. I also had this idea, like I wanted to add an enclosed bedroom upstairs, mostly because I wanted an excuse to use these uber fancy art modern doors. You'll see them in a minute. I used some nether brick blocks for the walls and added some art deco layering at the top, but I felt like it was pretty lacking. That's when I realized, oh, fences exist. And it turned out just C-H-I-C chic, honey. And of course, door porn. And I was just about to end the video here, and I was like, what about storage? Where am I going to put all my dead bot- I mean beanbags. So I got the idea to build a basement under the staircase to indicate that I got nothing to hide, you know. And there I was, cleaning out space, and partway in, I had a revelation. Gosh, this seems like a right pain in the ass. So the next day, out of a lack of patience, I decided to bite the bullet and download a more recent version of World Edit. And it actually freaking worked. After clearing out enough space, I thought about what materials to make my basement out of. I realized that a rational person would use the same materials the house above is made of. Ergo, I resolved to use different materials. Yeah, you knew that was coming, didn't you? Upstairs, I opted for nether brick walls and spruce floors. Down in the basement, quartz. It's a great contrast, I don't care what you say. <laughs> I really wanted that Empire State Building vibe, you know what I mean? Like, I want to walk into my basement and look at the floor and imagine all the people not shutting the fork up about their ears popping. Is it weird that my ears don't pop when I experience subido changes in altitude? Do I have a problem? The correct answer is no, I don't have a problem. I have many problems, thank you very much. As for the finishing touch, I strategically placed some Art Deco chests around the ground floor to make our shitty house feel more like a shitty home. But it still felt like something was missing. These little bump things on the facade of the house. And I knew exactly what I wanted to use for those. Nether brick walls, are you following? I finally finished around nighttime and realized how dark the exterior was, so I added some torches on the roof. And then I was distracted by a distraction. Hello, distraction. Hey, is that a mob dungeon tower? And now, the reveal. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the build and don't forget to...